Providing good quality comments for your code is an art in itself, but from a technical standpoint, JavaScript has excellent support for providing multi-line as well as single line comments. So let's take a look. Everything after a double slash within JavaScript is considered a single line comment. And if you want your comment content to span multiple lines, we can do that with a multi-line comment, which starts with a forward slash star and then ends with a star forward slash. Syntactically, these are the only two types of comments within JavaScript. Now, even though the forward slash star comment is called a multi-line comment, there is actually nothing stopping you from using a multi-line comment that spans a single line. Now, once you start a comment with double slashes, the rest of that line will be a comment. So it's common to put a single line comment either before the line or at the end of the same line. Now with the multi-line comment, because it owns its opening as well as its closing, you can have it pretty much wherever you want. You can have it by itself. You can have it before your code, in the middle of your code, or even after your code on the same line. Now, most commonly when you are documenting your code, you will be using a multi-line comment that has been formatted in a special way that works nicely with IDEs. Fundamentally, it is a comment that starts with forward slash star star instead of just a forward slash star. And as soon as we add the second star, the IDE automatically closes this comment for us as well. Such a comment is called a JS doc comment and as far as the JavaScript runtime is concerned, it is still a simple multi-line comment, but for our IDEs, it holds special meaning. Additionally, as we press the enter key within this comment, not only does the IDE add a new line, it also adds a star on that line as well to give it a nice visual look. A key feature of these star star comments is that they will actually show up as documentation for any of the code that follows. For example, here we are declaring a variable called example and this comment has been associated as the documentation for the example variable and we can verify that as we hover over example, you can see the contents of the comment as a nice tooltip. Now, one thing that might be obvious with multi-line comments is that of course they cannot contain the star forward slash character sequence because of course this closes the comment. If you do want star slash within your multi-line comment, you can however do so by adding a backslash before the forward slash and this will escape that forward slash of the star forward slash sequence allowing you to use star forward slash within your multi-line comment. Now an obvious thing that I want to point out just in case you haven't experienced comments in other programming languages is that they are completely ignored by the JavaScript runtime and are purely your comments and documentation for the next developer that's going to be working with this code. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.